Every day the same scene is played out somewhere in India, Sri Lanka, or Cambodia. Before the first glow of dawn, wild elephants emerge from their forests and rampage through pineapple or sugarcane plantations. In just a few hours, they can eat their way through 150 kilos of fruit and trample 10 times more. Sometimes, one of them will smash the walls of a bamboo house or trample to death a farmer trying to protect his crop. Here in the regions of Thailand, close to Malaysia, a task force led by a veterinarian named Patatapon Maniorn stands ready to intervene when farms come under threat from the enemy. They have to act fast. Each year in India and Sri Lanka, invasive elephants kill nearly 200 people, and as many lives are lost in Southeast Asia. Each minute counts. <laughs> The elephants often stray onto human territory, so they have grown used to flailing arms. They are not intimidated by the task force, and it is against the law to kill them. In fact, the aim is both to frighten off the elephants and prevent desperate farmers from using guns to stop them. The animals have become mortal enemies for growers. <laughs> A pineapple harvest has just been destroyed here. Elephants have undone all the plantation owner's hard work several times now, and he is beside himself. Even so, the task force will have to try to scare off the elephants with simple firecrackers. <laughs> The first explosion is too weak. The elephants are about as impressed as they would be by a mosquito bite. The elephants are very sensitive to noise. Eventually, they begin to grow anxious. Finally, a last salvo sends the animals retreating back into their forest. They leave behind them a stunned family who are wondering what they will live on for the coming weeks. And the job is not over for Patarapan and his task force. Now they set off to follow the elephants, trying to find out why they left their territory and strayed into an area populated by humans. If there are fewer Asian elephants, if their species is genuinely endangered, why do they not stay in the national parks devoted to them? Why these nocturnal raids that do so much damage? <laughs> 